I seriously feel like Quint right now, but I don't, you probably can't see her from here. But she's right there. So let's see if we can entice her. Oh, 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 oh dear! <laughs> that is some reach. Holy hell! I think it's safe to say that her feeding response has survived her move to a big enclosure. So she's currently on the frozen thawed large rats still. Right now she's every four weeks. June, July, and August it's going to be every three weeks. And then this next winter she'll probably fast for four weeks. I'm sorry, for 12 weeks. Three months straight, no food. And then probably early next year once she's off the fasting she'll probably be switching over to rabbits because I'm not going to feed her jumbos. Um, it'll probably be, be primarily be um, rabbits and other lean food like that with the occasional jumbo or something that has a little more fat and stuff mixed in as a treat. Unfortunately, anacondas are probably one of the most overfed snakes out there because Everyone wants them to be as big as they as big as they can make them, and obviously I want my girl to be big, but I want her to be healthy. And I don't think there's as much information about proper feeding and digestion of anacondas as there should be. Um, there's really not much at all. They have very very slow digestive systems. Now, when they're younger, it might be a little bit faster, but not to the point where they need to be eating a jumbo rat every seven or ten days. If it was mine and I was feeding a jumbo rat, it would probably be every five to six weeks. So 